What's tchotchkes? You know, like in New York, you got a bunch of tchotchkes. Oh. Hey. But what does that mean? Because people who like to collect... <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> tchotchkes. People want to collect what? Hey, what? Cuffs? <laughs> You're not Gary Vee. <laughs> It's me, Gary Vee, boys. It's me, Gary Vee. Don't, yo. This is her business plan. Don't try to steal her thing, man. She's selling like, yeah, yo, yo. She's like the kingpin of Starbucks plastic cups. I haven't even sold any yet. But your mind's right. You're letting people You're getting in it tight. on my secret business. I think I'm gonna make it big, dude. People are gonna be like, yo, how'd you make your millions? You'd be like, yo, yeah. I'll go around taking them cups. I sell them, boys. I sell them. Cuss. Chaskies. Chas hey, Cuss. What are you doing? What? Real question, what are you doing? I just... I'm documenting our lives. Who are you talking to? To you. Slash You're the camera. Screaming. Whatever. I thought you really didn't know what tchotchkes meant. My feelings are hurt. No, I really all. didn't know what it meant. I didn't. That was pretty cool. Oh, it's a baby. Aww. Oh, he's ripping and riding. It's a family. Yeah, they were like hurtling. It's crazy how they can just like walk upside down like that. It's kind of weird. I wonder why there's not a squirrel superhero. Because I mean, look at it. That's true. Because you know how they have like all those. Yeah, and they can go like all the way up. That makes sense. That is weird. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. They're playing. They're babies. That was the littlest. Yeah, he was a little. Oh, Alright, so. <clears throat> my wife has a new little hustle. She's doing squish models and I'm doing but I don't know. Starbucks cups. I don't know, because now I like the tower and the Rottweiler. Okay, well we're out hunting for these things. The Starbucks cups, of course you go to Starbucks or like thrift stores. These spots, you gotta go to these department stores and they got them, some older ones and stuff like that, dude, where you gotta cop them, guys, you gotta cop them. Willow? All right, so Ari was talking about this at tower. We got three sizes I'm of this guy. I'm not sure if they count because are they all Willow? How do I open this? Oh, Jamie? They're still in the same fact. They're still in the same fact. What? That's a Jamie, probably. Oh, yeah. So it's a Willow and a Jamie. So these two are the same. Hmm. Does anybody want these? I know we're out looking for squash malls, but dude, TJ Maxx always got the good snacks, man. We got the uh, birthday cake vegan gluten free goodness, guys. Blueberry goodness. Syrup. Blueberry syrup. All right, let's get back to business. All right, let's get right into this. I'm going to make up a vegan lasagna. Super, super fire. So, we're going to go with the gluten free organic brown rice lasagna noodles. Uh, we're going to do 365 Italian herb pasta sauce. Um, and this is what my filling is going to be. I already prepped it up because, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. So we got kale, cauliflower rice, green beans, fresh garlic, pepper salt, and like a Cajun seasoning up in there. So what I'm going to do is noodle, sauce, this filling, cheese, noodle. You know how this lasagna gets. So we're going to go like that. I'm also frying up some onions here. This is a white sweet onion. We're also going to add to, to half the lasagna because my son V doesn't like onions, but me and Ari do. So half the lasagna is getting them onions, boys. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's get these noodles popping. We're going to throw this in some water, get these boiled up, and then start getting that layer going. So just for a side note, for this style of noodle, you don't have to boil it. You can actually just lay it in the pan adding sauce, but I like doing the traditional way. So I like to boil them. Uh, and then go ahead and put them in just because I feel like they're a little bit softer um, Well, and you know, honestly, I've never actually just put them in the pan with sauce So I actually don't know how that turns out. So I'm debating 
You know, let's get crazy. Let's go ahead, since I've never tried before, let's go ahead and not boil them up. Let's go ahead and put them in here, just straight raw with the sauce and see how they pop off. I'm gonna start off with a little sauce on the bottom. Let's go this way. I think we can probably do. Hmm. Huh. Maybe four cows? Maybe three? That's the tricky part. I'm not supposed to go with this. I'm not going to go with this. Oh, that would be insane. We're also gonna hit it up with this. This has to be my favorite vegan cheese, hands down. Uh, this comes cheddar. Uh, they also have pepper jack. It's so fire. He's got veggie and then vegan cheese in a bag. Well, he's got vegan cheese. This looks like more vegetables than I want to eat. Called Miyoko's. They make a pepper jack slice. This is the Miyoko's shred, so we'll see. It feels like it's not trying to be cheese. It actually feels like it was made and now it's the texture. Does that make sense? So it's not. Ooh, layer. It's like creamy as real cheese. It's almost like. It's almost like the cheese. They try to add oil to create that creamy. Like, okay, so pepper jack, you know, it's white, and then it has a chili flake. So it's, it's... We're gonna finish off with some nutritional yeast. Oh. Author, my man. Right. So I'm gonna make up some of this banana nut bread. Super, f uh, oh, I guess it doesn't have nuts, but banana muffin bread. Uh, I'm gonna add some nuts up in there. So what I do uh, with this how to make it vegan is I sub out eggs. You have two different ways. You can do it with chia or how I'm gonna do it is just the three eggs. I'm gonna sub it for applesauce. So it's super simple. Everything's everything else is gonna stay the same. Just changing that out. Um, so pretty stoked. Uh, you can add like chocolate chips to this or whatever, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna be doing it like this. So we're gonna do some pinto beans, black beans. Fire roasted tomatoes. You know you need the chili seasoning. And of course, you can't have chili without some cornbread. So this is just a gluten-free cornbread mix. Uh, I'm going to sub out some of the ingredients. So it asks for milk, which I'm not gonna put in. I'm gonna use almond milk. And then it asks for two eggs. So instead of eggs, you can actually sub it out with chia seeds super easy to make it just makes it eggy up in there so the cornbread sticks hey man so let's go ahead and get into that chili night boys yep. all right so we're gonna do the one package of cornbread let's put the whole thing in there oh yep yeah. kind of pepper chia seeds i just got it greased up with a little bit of vegan butter Uh, I throw it in the oven 375 for 25 minutes. If you're curious how to make the uh, the chia seed eggs, you just get chia seeds, soak them in water, uh, you know, wait 15 minutes and they're ready to go. Just black beans, pencil beans, 
fire roasted tomatoes diced, and taco seasoning. Uh, you just melt down the taco seasoning with a little bit of water. What you gotta do is let this come to a boil, reduce the heat, let it simmer for 10 minutes, and then you're ready to go. You just wanna get to the thickness you like. You know, if you don't like it really runny, let it cook for a little longer because the seasoning has a thickener in it. So, it'll be more like chili than like soup. So I just decided I'm gonna add some sweet white corn to this. Now you can also add like green peppers or onions. My son does not like onions, so of course I'm not adding it, but I will add some white corn to this. All right, so we're gonna hit it up. Chili got nice and thick. All right, cornbread is done. Super, super nice. Uh, this is my favorite uh, vegan butter. Um, super, super good. It's made with oat milk. So fire.